Rallo just went to do the annual Young Dolph giveaway in Memphis. That's the same giveaway that Dolph does every summer, except this time Rallo organized it with the PRE guys like Key Glock and Big Moochie Grape, and he brought out the whole city of Memphis to commemorate Young Dolph and do a tribute to him, but also to give back to the community during these times because this is exactly what Young Dolph would do every year, and they wanted to keep it going because this is important for Young Dolph legacy to continue on. They wanted at least to bring the city close together after all the battles, after all the wars between CMG and PRE and everything that's been happening in Memphis the last three years. And so they wanted to at least put that aside for one day and actually come together for Young Dolph for once and for all because he deserved that. If he was the king of Memphis, people got to stand up and actually be there to support him his family and everybody who's trying to do right by young Dolph, man and a lot of the people like the pre artists they were happy to see that the whole city was smiling and, and actually excited to see young Dolph's proteges coming up and being back in the limelight being back and rallo is really doing a good job by making sure that the pre dudes who is really down and out that they got their spirits back up and the morale is back up because rallo is pretty much He's actually trying to bring the same type of energy as what Young Dolph brought. And if you guys are rocking with Young Dolph, put Long Live Dolph, type it down below, hit the like button, subscribe, man. So now that this is all going on and everybody's coming together for Young Dolph, the justice is coming very soon. All the footages and everything that the witnesses saw and basically all the videos from the arm out the window at the Makita's cookies and everything like that. The feds have been reviewing everything, reviewing everything, and they found a missing detail. And this is why they're going after black youngster. They're going after a lot of the people who basically are the main usual suspects. And now that they found out Young Dolph was set up, they're starting to figure out that it's connected to Yo Gotti, allegedly, because every single one of the people that's been captured so far, they pop up randomly in the back of a CMG video or they was at the Privé restaurant or something that pretty much ties them back to CMG or Yo Gotti. And this is why they're doing a Rico because all the dudes that's the captured and the suspects, all the dudes that basically were part of it, they all part of the same crew. And this is why they're looking at CMG because of their long history of the beef between PRE. And they asked around in Memphis and they said, okay, who is PRE's main people that they're beefing with? Who's their ops and everything like that? And they found out that it was CMG. They knew that a lot of people in Memphis already knew CMG and PRE had issues dating way back to the beginning of Yo Gotti and Dolph's careers. And it just got worse over time because of the jealousy, the envy, and the greed, and the fact that Young Dolph was named the king of Memphis. And Yo Gotti didn't like that because... He felt like he wanted to be that, but the people didn't give him that name. So he pretty much was mad at all of Memphis and could, couldn't stand Young Dolph. And everybody kept playing Dolph. Everybody kept, you, you couldn't get away from hearing about Dolph or seeing Dolph. And so that made Yo Gotti feel some type of way. And so once the feds started piecing all of the puzzles together, they knew that this whole entire thing was a chessboard and that the guys that got captured were just the palm pieces and that it all goes back to the dudes, uh, Govan Hernandez, Big Juke, which is Yo Gotti's brother and right hand man. So they knew that the street guys, the palm pieces was connected to Govan and Big Juke um, and Yo Gotti's brother or Yo Gotti's right hand man. And so that's why. They went to Govan Hernandez and they took Govan down first. The reason why Govan got put as the mastermind of this whole thing is because he already had history from the last time they tried to get Young Dolph in L.A. And Govan Hernandez was seen running away from the area that it happened. He got picked up and he didn't give no statements or nothing like that but they said that he he fit the description of the guy that was seen running away from the scene and young Dolph didn't say nothing about it so at the end of the day govan was able to get out from that situation but he still they still showed the mugshot picture and everything they still showed that it was a cmg executive whatever it was that he was working with yo Gotti. and so now when it had when this all happened for, um this time 
Govan Hernandez was part of it again and his, his name kept coming up when they asked the guys that got caught and they were telling them in the interrogation room to spit names and, and, and let them know of all the details they kept the name that kept being brought up was Govan, Govan, Govan and so whenever they were like, who is this Govan guy? And somebody pointed him out. They brought him up in the lineup and they say, yep, that's him over there. And basically that they knew they started looking up what was Govan doing? What was his alibi that day? They think that he basically could have been at the at the place Dolph got interviewed. He could have been following Dolph at the gas station. He could have been like at the Benny Hanna's and maybe even driving the Bentley truck. So they know Govan was close to the situation and that he was basically there in case Yogadi needed somebody to do something for him. He sent Govan. And so that's why Govan, he got hit with the mastermind of this whole thing. And so this is why they charged him. They weren't going to give him no bond or nothing like that until he started giving up info on Yogadi and Yogadi's brother. And this is how they were able to pretty much move forward with the case and everything, because a lot of the dudes, they were talking and everything. The loyalty felt thin. They knew that Yogadi wasn't going to bond him out once they realized they weren't going to get the bond. And once they realized that they're pretty much trying to round up everybody that has something to do with it, they realize Yo Gotti and CMG and them aren't going to be coming back for him to help him. They're going to leave him in the dust. And so this is what made them start basically telling on Yo Gotti and saying, yeah, boom, boom, boom. He, they, this person told me to do it. And basically they found they found out that the 40000 that Big Jip got from Yo Gotti to basically send to the straight drop and all of the dudes that were basically trying to take out Dolph. They found the paper trail, and basically this is why everybody's getting indicted from this. The indictments are about to hit, and everyone's going to get caught up in a RICO, allegedly. And it's all due to the fact that they pretty much got caught in this whole entire thing on footage. They got caught with the whole situation of following Dolph. You could see the cars in the background and all that. And so at the end of the day, the feds pretty much got this all on wrap and at any minute at any given minute now they might hit the raid on yogati's uh, estate they might pick up black youngster and they might swoop and get money bag yo and, and everybody else that's connected to the situation because they know that they're about to pretty much get the justice for dolph and you know it's a lot of pressure from the city and uh, from the whole citizens and all of memphis to solve this and everything and at the end of the day, the karma is still going to come back for them because they know they was in the wrong for trying to set up Young Dolph. So no matter what happens, the karma will eventually get the ones. If y'all support Young Dolph, let me know where y'all from. Go ahead and put LLYD, long live Young Dolph, and make sure you stay tuned for all the updates. Peace.